guys, here we go. This is what we need to do the tire change, the old PMT, and put the new PMT. So we got the tire paste with a brush, the wrench for the tire nut, some Allen keys, valve stem remover, tire lever, some Loctite, clamp, my regular air pump, and of course, the air compressor. So, this is the old one, very, very smooth. This is the new one. We're gonna have to take the nut, the brake caliper, and take it from there. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is obviously take off the nut. Make sure you store everything in a place that you're not gonna lose it. Oh, armadillos too. So we just loosen it, we're not taking it all the way down. You don't have to do it, but I like to take the valve stem off already, let all the air go out, give it a little bit. Could take it now with the valve stem, but there's no point, I'll do it later when I put the armadillos. Right now, just take the air off. Now what you wanna do is loosen this bolt and this bolt because it's holding the motor cable behind in a, can, in a channel in the back. You're gonna see once I take it off, there's like a small plate behind it. So it will give you room to take the tire. Just put your hand on the back so you can grab that plate. See? Put that aside, do the other one. Put your finger on the back to hold the plate. That's basically just holding the cable motor in the in the channel. Yep. So now you can see with your finger you can take it the cable loose on the back. See? See? Now the cable is a little bit more loose, so you have more room to walk. So before I even take the tire off, I like to take the brake caliber off. Yeah. Try not to lose it, guys. So see, just take it off the disc rotor, put it on top of the deck, do not move it. Now we can take the tire off. Now you want to take the tire, be careful because it could drop. The tire could drop, even though you have the locker. Until you take the locker, it's not going to drop. Again, put in a safe place. Okay. So you have this lock washer. And on the other side too, make sure we take it off, do not lose that. Now we can take the tire off and put it safe. Now it's a little bit stuck, but with your finger you can push it out. Oh, tire is off. Now what I like to do is take this off too, so it gives me more room once I try to fit the tire. <coughs> so yeah, I like to take the fender off too, because it's very difficult, even though you have a disconnector too, you can disconnect the motor, but it just gives me more room to work when I try to fit the, the new tire on or take this old tire off. Again, put it somewhere safe, do not lose those screws. Everything is replaceable, but you do not want... Now you can take an opportunity and clean up a little bit. See, I put that paste 
on the rim, on the tire, I mean. Okay, now come the difficult part. So first of all, put it, and the top out should be easy, you just need to push it in. See? It go pretty easy. The difficult part is actually one of, is the other side that you have to put it, the tire above the rim. This is where it get tricky. That's it. Okay guys, so once you put it on, you see it's on on that side and on that side. The rim is above the tire. Now, now before we even do anything, I'm gonna put armadillos. We have to take the valve stem off. So you take the valve stem. Now don't get me wrong. It's tricky to take it, the, to put the tire on. You need to have patience, you have to wiggle with it. It's not gonna happen in two seconds unless you're lucky. We put half a bottle of armadillos, the blue one, before you inflate the tire. Now you put the valve stem back on. And now we're gonna try to inflate the tire. So bear with me. So no now come the tricky part too, because you need to use clamps. I did it on the back one already. So you wanna use clamps to squeeze it, the tire across. To put pressure to close the rim. No, not too much. And now we're gonna see if we can inflate the tire or not. And you need an air compressor, of course. After I do the initial one with the air compressor, then I go with the regular pump. I take it to 3750, 38. It's a little bit too much. Let's see if we leave the nail though. It's on 41, but I'm going to take it down. We do lose a little bit of air, I see. But let's see if it stops. That's because I'm moving the stand. But here it stopped at 4050. So let's take a little bit out because it's a little bit too much for my taste. That's it. Between 37 to 39, I'm okay. Once I take it out, a little bit more will come out anyway. So, looks good. So, yeah, that clamp really helped because you need to push the tire against the rim. So you can put some air in it, but you really need an air compressor and after the air compressor you can use the air pump Just to give the first push All right Looks good Okay, so after all this mess you may want to clean a little bit the rims from the paste from the tire paste Now when you put it back make sure the cable motor is going downwards sideways so you can put it back in the channel Okay, now that you did that, next step is to put the, this scroller back. You got the six screws, put it there. I like to use some Loctite, the blue one. You just put a drop on each one of them and you're good to go. See what I mean? Just a drop. Again, I put one on each side first. Okay, we'll be back after I put all of them. Okay, 
So now you lock all of them. You're gonna feel when it stopped turning. All right. Now you wanna put the tire back. Don't forget you got two washers, two regular washers. One on each side, one over here, one over here. Now you want to take the lock one, and you want to lock it in once it's all the way in. Take the lock knife. Some people put lock tine on it. I don't put lock tine on it, but you can definitely do that. Once it's gonna be on the floor, I'm gonna make it tighter. This is just for now. Now you wanna do the motor cable that you took. Remember the one with the two plates. So, you're going to tuck it in, in the back, like that. You take the plate, you just want to make sure that the plate on the back holds that cable. That's basically what you want to do. That's it. Okay. Now, you have to put the brake, the fender and the brake caliber box. So, first of all, we're gonna put the fender. Okay, now you wanna put the brake caliber back on. We want to clean it a little bit before. And again, you can lose Loctite. A little bit of a drop. Like the disc is uh, scratching. You can do adjustment by the loosen up those two bolts and just play with it and also hit the brakes and see until you get to the point that it's not scratching see there's a little bit of scratch doesn't bother me though a lot of people is too picky when i ride i don't hear it and there's no damage and that's all she wrote so you got one over here and we did the back one too so we got brand new tires PMT. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any question, I can try to answer. And we'll take it from there. Now take it on a test run. Go do deliveries. ESD, peace out.